How narcissists really cope when you lose interest and leave them. Everyone, let's delve deeper into the intricate world of narcissistic behavior, exploring the aftermath when someone decides to break free from their clutches. Before we embark on this journey, if you find this topic intriguing, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating content. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's unravel the complexities of what transpires when a narcissist loses their grip on someone. From first-hand observations, it becomes apparent that narcissists possess egos as fragile as soap bubbles, with a penchant for causing harm. Despite their lack of substance, they skillfully hog the spotlight, seeking validation without contributing anything meaningful. Picture them as a beautifully wrapped but ultimately disappointing present, superficial, and filled with deceit. These individuals, commonly labeled as narcissists, harbor an insatiable craving for control as a crutch for their fragile egos, even though their self-esteem is often remarkably low. To perpetuate this control, they employ a myriad of manipulative tactics aimed at influencing, embarrassing, or dominating those around them. Recognizing these cunning behaviors and understanding the harm they cause can serve as a potent tool in navigating your relationships. Without this awareness, you may find yourself in a perpetual state of confusion, anger, shame, and isolation. Narcissists excel at deploying subtle tactics, such as criticism, sowing seeds of self-doubt, and creating emotional distance to assert their control. The intriguing part lies in how they respond when faced with someone breaking away. Have you ever pondered what their counter move might be? Take a moment to reflect on this and consider the dynamics at play in your interactions with narcissistic individuals. By gaining a deeper understanding of their strategies, you can better equip yourself to navigate the challenges they present and safeguard your own well-being in the process. Narcissists thrive on exerting control over others, employing manipulative tactics, and avoiding direct confrontation or violence. Their arsenal includes mind games and playing the victim to achieve their goals. Instead of engaging in self-reflection, they seek external validation to fill the void within themselves. This dependency on others makes it easier for them to manipulate and control those around them, fostering a sense of power and superiority. Beyond individual control, narcissists also seek to influence your connections with others and manipulate your emotional responses. They revel in creating chaos and drama, orchestrating situations like a puppeteer pulling the strings of a puppet show. The longer you maintain distance from a narcissist, the more agitated they become as they lose their grip on your thoughts and emotions. This loss of connection is particularly impactful if you played a significant role in their manipulative strategies. Understanding the concept of narcissistic supply is crucial in deciphering the narcissist's behavior. They actively seek sources of validation and admiration, and the more options they have, the better they can twist and control their narrative. When someone breaks free from the narcissist's influence, it signifies a reclaiming of power. This can result in changes in how the person interacts with the narcissist, or even a complete severance of ties, eliciting a predictable response, the narcissistic rage. Rejection poses a significant challenge to narcissists accustomed to maintaining control. The sudden loss of a connection, whether in a significant relationship or even a small fragment of narcissistic supply, deeply unsettles them. The abrupt silence triggers a range of reactions as they grapple with the unfamiliar territory of being unable to control or manipulate the situation. Navigating the intricacies of interactions with narcissists requires a keen understanding of the underlying dynamics at play. When faced with rejection, narcissists embark on a strategic journey to shield their egos from the blows of vulnerability. This involves deploying a repertoire of maneuvers designed to accentuate their strengths and reveal hidden advantages, creating an illusion of unwavering self-confidence. While these actions may seem like genuine strides toward personal development, the truth lies in their avoidance of profound introspection. For narcissists, the aftermath of rejection is not an opportunity for genuine self-reflection and growth. Instead, their primary objective is to deflect attention from their imperfections, 
maintaining an image of superiority. Rather than immersing themselves in the transformative process of self-improvement, they prioritize the preservation of a facade that shields them from the discomfort of acknowledging their flaws. The avoidance of deep introspection becomes a coping mechanism, preventing them from facing the genuine challenges that come with self-awareness. In the realm of relationships with narcissists, it becomes crucial to recognize the intricate chain reaction triggered by rejection. Their behavior, far from a sincere commitment to personal growth, becomes a complex web of tactics aimed at safeguarding their fragile self-worth. Understanding this dynamic equips individuals with the insights needed to navigate interactions with narcissists, fostering a discerning approach that acknowledges the disparity between outward confidence and an unwillingness to engage in meaningful introspection. Navigating a relationship with a narcissist can be akin to traversing a treacherous landscape, where the terrain is marked by cycles of attraction, manipulation, and eventual disregard. When a narcissist senses their control slipping away, they often deploy a variety of strategies to reclaim it. Declarations of undying love, adopting a submissive demeanor, or playing the victim are common tactics in their arsenal. It's important, however, to recognize that this display of affection is typically transient. Once they lure you back into their orbit, the narcissist is prone to revert to their self centered ways, placing their interests above yours. The desire for retaliation becomes evident when the narcissist feels powerless or slighted. This cycle of attraction and manipulation, with a subsequent lack of regard, can be challenging to escape. Identifying these patterns is crucial when dealing with narcissistic individuals, as it allows for a better understanding of the manipulative strategies they employ. Narcissists are inherently focused on what they can gain from others, whether it be financial benefits, affection, or other resources. In moments when they can't control or have you on their terms, they aim to ensure that no one else has you either. The lengths they go to alienate you from friends and tarnish your reputation are indicative of their extreme measures. Throughout this process, they position themselves as victims, painting you as the self-centered and irrational party. Their ultimate goal is to induce guilt making you feel responsible for distancing yourself or treating others differently. When their desires are thwarted, narcissists may resort to drastic measures, leading to smear campaigns that feel like powerful blows to your character. The inability to manipulate others into compliance can trigger a downward spiral with thoughts of taking extreme actions. Establishing healthy boundaries is imperative when dealing with narcissists, as it acts as a protective measure against their harmful behavior. Navigating the complex dynamics of a relationship with a narcissist requires a deep understanding of their need for control and the impact it can have on those around them. The very essence of a narcissist's existence revolves around maintaining a facade of superiority and wielding power over others. Consequently, severing ties with a narcissist becomes not only a matter of self-preservation, but also a crucial step towards reclaiming one's autonomy and emotional well-being. By acknowledging the detrimental effects of such relationships, individuals empower themselves to take the necessary steps for recovery. The aftermath of a relationship with a narcissist often leaves individuals grappling with the emotional toll it has taken on their lives. Breaking free from the web of manipulation and control is undoubtedly challenging. But recognizing the importance of regaining independence becomes a beacon of hope in this journey. Rebuilding self-esteem and establishing healthy boundaries are integral components of the healing process. It's a testament to resilience and strength to emerge from such experiences with newfound wisdom and a commitment to personal growth. In our collective exploration of this topic, your thoughts and insights are invaluable. Sharing your experiences and strategies for coping with the aftermath of a narcissistic relationship can provide solace and guidance to others who may be on a similar path to recovery. By fostering a community that embraces open dialogue, we contribute to a supportive environment where individuals can find understanding and encouragement. As we draw the curtain on today's discussion, we extend our gratitude for your engagement. If you found this information beneficial, consider expressing your support by engaging with the content, whether through a like 
or by sharing it with those who might find it beneficial. Your involvement in our community is deeply valued, and we look forward to continuing these meaningful conversations.